Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family, and welcome. Welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I want to say, I want um, a few things quickly um, about the election. Because um, I gave um, a, I guess, an opinion pretty much four years ago. Um, asking, does voting count? And I really offended some people um, because of my response. And of course, I vote. Uh, there are people who say, why should you? Because it's ridiculous. And, you know, yada, yada, yada. And things are never going to change. And blah, 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 blah. I'm part of the old regime and all that. Well, that part is true. Because I realize that there's just two things that the dominant society tries to prevent us from doing. One is to, they want us to sell our guns back, and they want to suppress the vote. So if the vote really means nothing at all, and it's just a bunch of garbage, why do they work so hard to suppress it? What just happened in Texas is another travesty, just like what's happening here. They're trying to shut down, and I'm in Wisconsin, 220-something thousand people off the uh, polls. If it really doesn't matter why in the world would they go through so much trouble to um, not put enough machines into place, suppress the vote, miscount the vote, and I'm going to tell you from personal experience, I know it matters. I know it matters. In my district, local politics, and all politics are local, we had an older person that wasn't about it. Okay, all they were doing was getting uh, props and getting all kinds of uh, perks and stuff from uh, uh, politicians and businessmen that wanted to build stuff in the district. So how we alleviated that is we voted her ass out of office. And the person that we put in her place was not a very liked person by the city. Because they had a family history of raising hell for black folk. I'm not saying they were always right. You know what I'm saying? That I agree with everything they did or said. But I knew that they were a voice for voiceless people and dispossessed people. So what happened was the person kept on winning. And so they had to figure out some charges to trump up on the, char on the person. However, the person did win the vote. Okay. Now, whether the charges that he was brought up on was accurate or not, I mean, that's a whole different story. It's just like Kwame Kilpatrick. Y'all can't sit up here and say Kwame didn't do none of that stuff. Kwame, was it was abuse of power. I'm not saying that uh, the dominant society, people in it don't do it all the time. But somebody should tell you to check your uh, DNA. Because unless you white, you ain't going to get away with what white people get away with. And you should know that. So, you know, it's real ridiculous when we say things like that. Okay? Um, a lot of us get into office and we try to perform the same way white folks perform. We try to steal the way they steal. We try to influence and do things the same way they do it. Okay. Well, because we're not part of the dominant society, I would say that you should dot all your I's and cross all your T's and don't try to do what your white counterpart do because you're going to go down. you going down because of it. All right? So with that being said, I've, I, I, I'm kind of switching this over to the Joe Biden because um, I got a couple videos to do. I got, I'm going to be back with uh, the one about the Miller shooting. But for black folk to have ran out in numbers in the South to vote for Joe Biden is really sick, in my opinion. It just really, lets, to me, lets you know how sick we are. We are some sick people. And y'all want to ride with us. So who, who, who? Who, I don't want to ride with nobody this damn crazy. First of all, anybody with any kind of common sense know Joe, uh, uh, Joe is senile. 
You hear him, he forgets where he at. Listen, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm dealing, I got a parent right now that I'm dealing with, and it's sad. She's got dementia, my mom. And she sounds just like Joe Biden, okay? And y'all so stupid because you love Barack Obama so much that you would actually sit there and put this man in office knowing or, or at least want him to be a front runner when you know already that the man can't put a cohesive thought together. What is wrong with y'all? Because you like Obama so much, you going to throw that out the window? He's been sitting here making up stuff, talking about he marched with Nelson Mandela, what he did in the civil rights, and all the stuff Bernie did, y'all saying that he did. And I don't got no dog in this fight. I'm just telling you how stupid black people are representing. Y'all so, we so stupid. If anything, I will go down with the person that ain't part of the establishment. We don't got no kind of... What in the hell would you be part of the establishment for? And now they want to say, oh, black people part of the establishment? Give me a break. Give me a break. I heard that commentary. Somebody said, oh, black people must be part of the establishment then, huh? Because they voted for Joe Biden. Joe, black people sometimes spike, cut off their nose and spike their face. And we are so... ego-driven, character-driven, personality-driven, that we can't even see the harm and the stupidity that that move just made. You already know Donald Trump don't play. Soon as this man, if this man win a nomination, the first thing they're going to do is start bringing up Joe, his hunt, Joe's son again, Hunter. You already know this. And if you don't, dummies, this is what's going to happen. They're going to start bringing up, he's going to start bringing up Hunter Biden. That's going to be uh, the, the whole crook and nut and cranny of the whole damn thing. It's going to all go to hell again and there go Donald Trump. Okay, Donald Trump is going to be the president for the next four years. All right, because with this mindset and this stupidity, holding on to the past, this is what's wrong now. They want to keep slavery going. Can't you see they're holding on to the past? The slave catchers are now the pol have evolved to the police department. Can't you see that? They want to go back to the old. It's the same thing y'all want to do. You want to go back to the old. I say on, out with the old and in with the new. Move forward. Keep onward, young man and young woman. But this stupid shit y'all doing right now, voting for somebody that can't even talk straight, can't even think straight. If I had a dog in a fight, it sure wouldn't be that. And it wouldn't be him. Because the first thing my mind would tell me is that anybody that can't remember anything, no disrespect to Joe, it's a part of life, part of the aging process. I'm dealing with it right now. And I wouldn't want my mother to be the president, nor would I want her to be the vice president of these United States of America. I'm just telling you straight up. 